Good morning. Today we are going to study about ecosystem services. So what is an ecosystem service? Ecosystem service will include all the beneficial functions performed by the ecosystem which is needed for sustenance of human life. An invention that mimics these beneficial functions will not be replaceable to what the ecosystem performs because it is less efficient and it is of two types direct and indirect a direct ecosystem service is one that influences human life directly an indirect one it will influence the functions of ecosystem so that which in turn will influence human life an example of direct ecosystem service will be provisionary and regulatory so provisionary services are the ones like supply of food water and other resources whereas regulatory will include flood control soil fertility control and air quality control or pollution prevention such services provided by the ecosystem the indirect system will be org including all the supporting services so the supporting services will include like the space for landscape that is forest and nature agriculture forest and so on and it will also include other uh, aspects of supporting services like maintenance of ecological balance by giving a diversity of species to compare the ecosystem service with a man-made activity will help us understand how ecosystem service are vital so for this we take mangrove marsh versus shrimp farm and we are comparing it in terms of economic and social value so the mangrove marsh has a very low economic value which is only 823 us dollar whereas shrimp farm will give 8340 us dollar which also includes some subsidy provided the social uh, uh, the social value of a mangrove farm will be that it is the spawning ground for fish and it also gives a coastline protection in terms of natural disaster and enemies and the cost of this is a positive income of 35696 US dollar whereas the shrimp form will cause a pollution destruction of the ecosystem which is worthy of 951 us dollar and the restoration cost so that the farm should be re-established which is around 5656 us dollar so thus it is a negative social value and the margin of benefit is greater in mangrove marsh compared to shrimp form next we will uh, think about a natural disaster where the ecosystem service helps say a mangrove marsh the mangrove marsh are found in the coastline of gujarat and recently the gujarat was 
inflicted in 2021 by cyclone tokte and the cyclone tokte cost around 2.1 billion us dollar loss of material and 200 lives of people including missing and this could have been reduced if the mangrove marsh was much established because the mangrove marsh has been reduced by human activities which has resulted in sea rise and entry of flood water so sea rise will reduce the coastline but however uh, human restoration activity has improved and that is why we had a lesser uh, loss of materials now describing the natural world as an aesthetic value will make it a harmony peace joy and job as a ethical value it will have sustainable use dignity of life and resources then uh, conservation restoration after use thus in today's topic on ecosystem service we defined ecosystem service in our own words we found two types of ecosystem service to be direct and indirect and we provided examples for direct services and indirect services and we compared mangrove marsh a natural ecosystem service with shrimp farm and found that the margin of benefit is more in the ecosystem service and found the role of mangrove marsh in natural disaster especially during cyclone totte in the coastline of gujarat and how the mangrove marsh could have reduced the loss and finally we defined natural world in aesthetic terms and ethical terms the aesthetic terms are harmony peace and joy job the ethical terms are sustainable use dignity of life and resources conservation restoration after use thank you for attending today's topic and we will see you again in another topic